We all come from humble beginnings, and to some, the GT730 is just that. While it was never a AAA gaming beast, the GT730 surely got many gamers through the start of their gaming journey. The model I'll be looking at today boasts a mere 1GB of VRAM, which in a world where anything below 8GB is laughable, doesn't make the 730 look all that promising. So what exactly can we do with the GT730 in 2024? Let's find out. But first we need to install this absolute beast of a graphics card. Now that's what I call power. 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 Alright, so we are on the desktop with the GT730 and I did go ahead and disable the OBS preview because it does use a little bit of GPU and we got a lot of GPU going around. So I figured I'd give the GT730 the best chance it's possibly got. Hopefully everything is being captured properly. If not, then oh well, I guess I'm just going to die. Okay, opening up GPU-Z, we are running the GT730. This is the one gigabyte GDDR5 model. There are um, much worse models out there running GDDR3. So, I mean, we're not exactly the worst off in terms of GT730s, but it's not saying much. Now this right here makes you worried for some games because DX12 with the little parentheses on 11 means it's just basically DX11. You can technically launch applications that need DX12, but if you need DX12 future sets, you're kind of out of luck. I'm kind of worried about Resident Evil 4 because I'm pretty sure it's not, it's not even gonna work because it, it requires DX12. Let's try anyway. I don't even know if the graphics things are turned down properly. We'll, we'll see though. Well, it says it crashed. So next we're going to try some teardown, which I don't think will work either because I mean it does have an open GL mode, but that runs substantially worse than the DX12 mode. I believe it's DX12. It might be DX11, but I do believe it's DX12. So let's, let's just see. Oh, we're actually in Teardown. Is this DX11 or DX12? Okay, it defaulted to, to, to OpenGL, so it knew we ain't having this. Now I already know damn well this GPU is not going to be able to run this game on anything near highest settings, especially in OpenGL, so let's just disable all of this crap. You know, we're also going to turn the render scale down to 50% just to be safe, because I uh, I don't have any, any faith in this GPU. Alright, we're just going to load to the campaign, make something a little easier to run. Oh my god. I don't have my frame rate. Hold up. Okay, we are in. Um, now, I'm actually really surprised because we're, <laughs> we're, we're running this in OpenGL mode and it's actually kind of working. I mean, this is kind of playable if you get past the, the blurry mess that this is. Like, this isn't. This is 1080p 50%, so we could go lower technically. We could try 50% of 720p, but honestly, this is running good enough as it is. So let's go try an actual level out real quick. All right, so this is a bit bigger of a map. Yeah, it's not too different in terms of frame rate. I will say one thing. This is a consistent experience so far. Consistently bad, but consistent nonetheless. But yeah, I mean, hey, this is um, kind of bearable. So when you start breaking stuff, it actually becomes very CPU bound. So I don't think that we're going to see much of a drop. Let's try like something like the Omni Cutter. Oh, nice. I mean, our frame rate's not changing, so I, I, maybe my hypothesis was correct. Oh, oh, never mind. Okay. That might also just be the CPU, because that happens on any system. Let's just, you know, use the magnetizer. I don't know how this is going to look on, like, a phone screen, but it's not going to do us justice just how blurry this damn game is right now if you're watching on the phone. Watching this blown up on a desktop is kind of... Kind of give me a headache. 50% of 1080p is 540 p so it's like... This could be playable on, like, a Steam Deck screen or something. But not much else. Oh, okay. Oh, well, it's doing a sting. Okay, there you go. Yep, yep. But yeah, we are uh, we're dropping kind of low. Although I would still argue that even sub 20 is kind of playable in this game. We are destroying things. You know, very nice, very nice. The GPU is is doing its job, displaying an image. Let's do a nice big old big old thing right here. Nice. You know, get some smoke effects in there. Yeah, get some flames going. Get some flames going. Up. Oh my god. This kind of looks like if you just sprayed a bunch of Vaseline on the screen. I mean, that, that does a, that does a good job at portraying how this looks. Would I play it like this? Probably not. 
I mean, it's it's kind of bad. What we can try to do is let's do do windowed. Let's do 720p. Hey, look at us. We're running at 50, 45, something like that. You know, this is this is very uh very 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 blurry. But I mean, if you're on a smaller device, I guess this is fine. Okay, loading back into the mission. Let's see how how we're doing. Okay, high 30s right now. That's not too bad at all. I mean, you know, it, for GT730 standards, I mean, it, you know, it's something. Okay, it's kind of it's kind. I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of dropping again. I don't. I guess this is just. It might be a limitation of OpenGL mode, honestly, because we're kind of dropping to similar frame rates at the beginning here. Oh, oh, well, never mind. We're we're back to 40 for some reason. Okay, it doesn't make any sense. The performance kind of just is everywhere, and I'm I'm gonna say that's because it's not optimized. And something I didn't think about. I'm pretty sure this game is it forces your hardware to ray trace. I'm like I'm pretty certain that there's like forced ray tracing in this game. So we 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 are technically ray tracing on the GC730, aren't we? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's ray trace because typically with screen space, you would see the reflections disappear at the corner of your eye, but you're not seeing that here. So I'm like, I'm pretty certain this is ray traced. That's kind of crazy. Wait, let's do some airstrike action real quick. I might have triggered an alarm, apparently. I would hope the fire alarm would be going off because goddamn. You know, I am having fun though. I will say one thing about this experience is that I am having fun destroying stuff. Anyways, let's try the next game out. Let's see, let's see if any other games will run on this GPU. All right, up next we're gonna try some PAL world. Now I don't have much hope for this game. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of scared, but we'll see. We'll see how this runs on the 7:30. Oh god, the, the, the menu. Oh. Now we are actually running Epic right now. Let's let's kind of tone it down <laughs> just to be safe. Yeah, I put it to a very low preset, which I believe just puts everything at absolutely minimum. We're playing at 1080p to start off. I don't know if this is gonna be good, bro. I don't think it is. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hello. I'm in the game. <laughs> right at a whopping. 8 FPS, 7 FPS, okay. Oh my god. This is terrible. This is how the Switch port would run, honestly. The Switch port finna look nice, bro. Holy crap. I can't, I can't do this. I can't. The input latency is terrible. Oh my god. Let's get let's get Relaxosaurus out. Yeah, you got this, buddy. I'm scared to even think about what the GTDR3 version of this would do. It'd probably have half of this frame rate. I mean, it's kind of playable, honestly. You know, I, I, we, he kind of fell in slow motion. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear how I'm moving it, but I'm gonna move it right now. And it just did it. <laughs> now? Now? Oh my god. Anyways, I don't I don't think this is gonna cut it for most people. So we're gonna try should we do 360? Let's try 720p first. Let's just give it a chance. Now 720p gave us a whopping plus 50% FPS, 40-50%. You know, hey, I I'm not complaining, you know. Uh, it, it still feels like complete ass, and it's yeah, it's it's still not playable. <laughs> this is this is this is terrible. The input latency is actually like ball sacks. Let's go to a nice teleportation thing so we can get back to our base. Oh, these are some nice textures, and they load in. Okay, okay. The one gigabyte frame buffer is doing its hard work right now. You can tell. Yeah, this is some really good gameplay. This is like all right. We're gonna try something a little lower. And by a little lower, I mean like the lowest option we possibly have. I don't think there's any saving this experience. 360p. Here we come. Oh my god. Hey, we're at we're at like 20 ish. <laughs> this is like borderline play. This is like on the brink of being playable. It's just like right below it because I, I like I, listen. It's terrible, right? But if this is all you have, I mean, this is you can run the game. You can launch the game, okay? No, don't you, you can you can launch the game. That's 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 good enough, right? Oh, I just did a little a little jig there. Okay, get him, get him, no mercy. Oh, goodbye. I don't know if this is a feature of the game running on a GT730 or if maybe it's a new update or something. But there seems to be a bit more glitches than than uh, on more powerful hardware. You might be able to get away with some casual playing of this game is of some degree and it comes with a free headache too i mean you know it, it it's, it's a feature all right let's let's go into the next game i'm gonna, I'm gonna stop overplaying this game now the next game we're going to be playing is gta 5 i have no doubts that this gpu will be able to handle this game but i figured i'd throw it in anyways as a game that you can still play on a gpu like this now i put everything to normal preset which i believe is the original xbox 360 settings plus ps3 but i did go ahead and disable any sort of population density or whatever these are mostly cpu bound anyways so it doesn't really matter like a crap ton and then i also turn off any sort of anti-aliasing but that's about it Let's go ahead and see how we're doing. Now, at 1080p, honestly, this is 
doing pretty good. You could probably lock this to 30 FPS flat and have a pretty nice experience though. But yeah, this is one of those AAA old games that still a lot of people play. It's a very, very popular game still. But yeah, you're, you're definitely having a better experience than you did back on the 360. The 360 ran us at like 720p. But it's a robbery. Give me your damn car. But yeah, I could, I could play this just fine, you know? Okay, let's get Daddle out of here. If you just want a cheap little GPU to play this game on, I mean, there's probably better options, especially on the AMD side of things. But if you have one of these things lying around, maybe in an old office PC or your grandma's computer or something, I mean, this is fine. Let's start shooting people now, because that's what you do in GTA, right? Well, that's a nice car. Huh. Oh, no. No. Please, no. Please, no. No. Please, no. Get up, Franklin. Get up, slow ass. But yeah, I'm having no issues shooting cops. You know, it's great. It's a great time. No, don't die. Don't die, Franklin. Oh, he's dead. Rip Franklin, guys. But yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, let's try the next game. So, our next game we're playing is good old Minecraft. Now, we're on the latest version of Minecraft. The latest version of Optifine, too. We are using Optifine just to maximize performance. And also for shaders. So, let's see how that goes. Now, I know this game is mostly CPU bound. But as soon as I turn on shaders, it's going to become very quickly gpu bound so let's let's just see where this goes we're doing pretty good now we're definitely gpu bound because uh my cpu would be getting a couple thousand fps with this this is technically a high refresh rate experience on gt730 so it's not even i'm not complaining here there's no doubt you could get, you could get away with this i am seeing some dips here though i don't know what's going on with that maybe it's because i'm rendering in more chunks so here comes the question can this oh i just applied ram shaders this is oh god this is the, the extreme preset Listen, I was not intending to do this, but we are doing this now, apparently. So, uh, we're running Silder's Vibrant Shaders on the Extreme Volumetric Lighting preset. And uh, the only use case I can see for this is if you want to take some pretty screenshots. So, let's let's try the actual preset I wanted to try real quick. I'm going to go ahead and turn down the render distance to, to 8 chunks. Okay, loading chunks in. I mean, I wouldn't play it like this personally. Yeah, definitely not. It's dropping to the low 20s, sub 20s. Holy crap. We're going to try and... Bring the render scale down. Okay, this is 50% render scale. Oh, this is a lot better. We're actually running... We I mean, were running at 60 for a second, but now stuff is loading in. But hey, this is like semi-playable. I mean, oh, oh, we're dropping so for some reason. Okay. I don't know what these random drops are. I'm going to assume that something is happening in my system that's deciding to tax this, the GPU. Now, I know this is half of 1080p, but honestly, for a game like Minecraft, it just kind of works. It's not the worst. If you want to go to in-between, maybe 66% or 75%. I'm going to try 75. Yeah, this is, this is probably a good medium in between it. You know, we're not quite 60, but we're not quite 30 either. This is, like, playable for sure. Now, we are dropping around here. And again, I don't know if that is my system doing something in the background. Because, you know, bloated ass Windows install. But let's go back to the good old 50% just to give it... Yeah, that's nice. That's nice and smooth. Honestly, 50% is playable too. I don't really have a huge issue with it. It's just like I've got I've got no qualms with this experience. I would I would play this definitely. I, I have played it on much worse hardware before. Trust me. So I am a okay with this. <laughs> Tell us your thoughts, real quick, man. Hey man, never count me out, man. You know, I, you never know what's gonna happen, man. I got, uh, I still got life left in me, man. Absolutely inspirational words from an inspirational GPU. Thank you for watching. <laughs>